Hello beautiful friends, I'm Rosa Coelho from Rocco Fit Health and Fitness and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Um, I'm going to keep bringing you content right now. The topic is keto diet and I've been keto for about, been keto, I've been in the keto approach for about think I'm on day 25 or day 26 so I am absolutely loving it it's really um I say it's not that different than primal because it is the primal diet only you're really looking at the configuration of your carbohydrates and fats and protein whereas if you're just doing kind of the regular primal diet then you don't worry so much about about how many carbs you're having for example even though just by the way we eat the primal diet, it is generally quite low carbohydrate. Today, what I wanna to talk to you about is the three things that are the hardest while being on this keto journey. So the first one is, and these are kind of things that I hear from other people and people that are um, intrigued about the keto diet or they're trying to do it, but they're finding it hard. And so the, this is what I hear. Number one, it just takes so much time and so much work to prepare the food. Okay, I really believe that this is a bit of a mindset shift because you can make really quick keto meals. So if you're not used to cooking, yes, at the beginning it's going to take you time to learn how to cook. But I'm here to tell you that if we don't put time into our health and time into our food, what are we doing, right? Because health is everything, and I think this is the one place that we should find time for. So it may take you more time at the beginning, but you'll get better and better at it. Going shopping, for example. You've gotta go shopping for food regardless. So it's the same amount of time to grab your packaged food as it is to grab some veggies or some good quality meats. The difference is at the beginning, you might know where all those other foods that you were having are, what aisles they're in, whereas now maybe you're shopping in part of the grocery store that you're not often in, and so that might just take a little bit of a learning curve. But once you know that, you'll be like, okay, I know where these things are. So it makes it way easier. Oh, husband's doing dishes, and that was some loud banging. <laughs> This is real life, my friends. Um, actually, so real that I have paint all over my arms because we were painting um, a gym today and I didn't do a great job taking it off because we're headed back to finish it up. So something that's really quick, for example, um, I can in 10 minutes, and you can too, make some wild salmon. You can do it in a little bit of, uh, in a frying pan with a little bit of butter, just put the skin side down, cook that for, it's less than 10 minutes, kind of depends on how thick it is, flip it over, do the other side really quickly. At the same time, you're steaming some broccoli and some spinach, put that all together, put some grass-fed butter on it, and um, some salt and pepper, and you're good to go. You'll have that meal done in 10 minutes. But here's um, a very important thing about preparing your meals, my friend is that it really is such an important part of our digestive process. While you're preparing, your body is really getting ready to di digest that food. You know, you start to get like, like a watery like watery mouth and you can you start to imagine yourself eating it and you can smell it and that's really important for the digestive process when we're ordering food or going to a restaurant we're cutting that process out so it's important to find the time to as often as we can allow for that process to happen it's not always possible because life is busy but when it is it is really something to consider and slowing down is always a good thing. So that's what I have to say about it takes um, it takes a lot of work or it takes a lot of time. The second one is, it's so boring. I'm so tired of just eating meat and veg. Well, again, this is where the learning process is so worth it because there's so many amazing keto things that you can have. The other day I made some really great, really nice fluffy pancakes that were made with eggs, coconut flour, a little bit of whipping cream, and some water. I think that was all in some baking powder. So it was like a really simple recipe. I'll have to do some uh, recipe video of it. But that was such a nice way to have pancakes. And I just thought they'd also be really nice with some lovely meat or some cheese on it too and make it have more like a savory sandwich almost. So you can be really versatile with keto. It just, it's going to take time. But like anything, if you're already doing other sort of baking or other, or other cooking, there was a time where you had to learn that. So you've got to give yourself the, that kind of learning curve um, and be able to go through the process, right? It's so, it's worth it. But there's so many beautiful things that you can have on this plan. Just think it's just real food and that's what I love about it. Okay, the next thing is 
being surrounded by people that aren't doing it and being surrounded by temptation. Well, the beauty of it is that once you become fat adapted, and for some people it might be like a few days, for some people it might take a bit longer, but once you become fat adapted, your cravings go away so you're not actually tempted by anything. The other day I was, um, I was at somewhere where they had two cakes what it was a carrot cake and this coffee cake and some chips and some salsa and normally like I'd be like oh all over that but I just literally did not even want it I think at the time I was eating my oh no I was eating um my duck with my uh with my broccoli and my spinach it was so good and I wasn't tempted now let me tell you about a time that I was and what I did about it so a week ago, so and I'm saying a week ago because if I'm on day 25, 26, you know that I was about three weeks into it, and I did go to a family gathering. Um, it was a celebration of my cousin's first birthday, and I did have because I saw them and I knew that they were going to be there. There's this Portuguese pastry that is um, stuffed with seafood. It's called risoje, and it's like one of my favorite things. It just reminds me of my childhood and actually just all my years. Like it's, I love it. It reminds me of family and we really only have that a couple times a year it's not something that's out all the time so I knew that it was gonna be there and I knew I was gonna have one and so I had the one it was so delicious I uh, I'm telling you I 100% was not tempted to have another one now if I was would I have had it I don't know maybe I would have allowed myself to I hadn't really thought about it because I knew one would probably do it and it did now if you're really early on in on your journey and something like that is going to trigger you to fall off then it's not worth it like it's worth exercising a little bit of willpower getting through it focusing on things that you can have the conversations that you're having with people rather than focusing on that thing that you can't have but if you're going to allow yourself you know the thing is when you're when your body becomes so clean and you start to feel so um so good you can handle a little bit of like the poisons right like and I hate to call it poisons it's something made with love but what I mean is like the white flowers mixed with um high fat which is like not a great it's like one of the worst combinations you can have um especially because the fat would have been like a seed oil to cook it in so it's all like the no-nos you don't want to be having but if you're um on a really good path and you're feeling really great the odd odd time to have something like that your body can flush it out like you're okay um now like I said if it's gonna be a trigger don't go with there. It's not worth it. But if you're confident that it's not going to be a trigger and it's really something that emotionally brings something like some joy, like go for it. Like it's okay. Um, this isn't about being perfect and being, um, you know, super robotic about it. Like you have to, you can't have that happening every week, but again, like don't, don't beat yourself up for it. In fact, enjoy it. If you're making that choice, make, just make conscious choices. That's what this is really about. Okay. So those are my three things. It takes, it takes time or it takes work. We know like everything does. It's so worth it. Um, it's boring. No, it's not just, you know, do some research and look for some really fabulous recipes out there. There's a ton of them. Just Google keto recipes and then, um, being tempted by, um, uh, buy foods out there and really you're not your cravings do disappear so my friends if you're on this keto journey please let me know I would love to hear your comments if you're following me online to see how I'm doing um, thank you for that and please say hello I would love to hear from you don't forget to subscribe to the channel I'll be doing these um, videos quite regularly I'm back on it um, what has keto diet done for me so far is one my energy like wow thank you because if you don't know my story I fell off the bandwagon for four years as I was working in the film industry I don't know life just went on a crazy path that I don't know how I did but um, it just didn't I ended up with adrenal fatigue and finally my energy is amazing my digestion is fabulous that first week it was adjusting but now my digestion is just so good and the thing that I love the most is that I am craving working out like and when I mean working out I don't mean I was going for walks and I was doing like all that gent gentler stuff anyway because that's what they recommend when you have adrenal fatigue is not to train too hard. So I was going for a lot of walks but I'm actually craving weights now. So I started training with my kettlebells again and I just feel so happy to kind of getting back to who I am. So just wanted to share that journey with you. Have a fabulous day wherever you are. Bye.